Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, one of the important feature of DNAC called Network Profiler and Composite Template. So uh, earlier I have done a video dedicated to template uh, editor, uh, which talk about how template editor works uh, and what kind of automation you can do. But in this video, I'm going to talk uh, about the workflow, how Network Profiler and Composite Template, they act together to do the batch uh, uh, configuration push to your network devices. So again, if you are not um, familiar with template editor, uh, feel free to watch my video um, name or title as template editor. But in nutshell, template what is template editor? Template ed editor is a, a way which you can define your uh, standard lines of configuration, day two configuration or onboarding configure day zero configuration, sometime called onboarding configuration. You can apply those two. Uh, all your devices like like a batch push uh, within your network uh, within your network so here on my screen you can see the complete workflow and it has multiple component uh, but in uh, nutshell it has three main major component one on the left side is a composite template or composite sequence as they call then we have it centrally called tag and on the right side we have network profiler tag as you can see it's a glue it's a glue which actually um, uh, glue your composite sequence and network profiler at the same time it uh, uh, help you associate with the uh, individual uh, devices so i will explain uh, if this thing is not very clear let's go down and break it down a little bit and finally we will do a demo so things will be uh, clear for you but he, uh, uh, but just very quickly as you can see you define your regular template make it part of composite template apply the tag to the composite uh, template you define your tags and apply this tag to individual devices and then on the right side you define network profiler within network profiler you call uh, the template and uh, you define your device tag also uh, and finally you assign this network profiler to the site uh, and at the same time you also assign individual devices to the site so now you can see that network profiler has all the uh, template uh, information and it is assigned to a site and from this side you are coming uh, you are assigning uh, your individual device to the site so um, now if you go ahead uh, finally and try to provision the device all this configuration what you defined at the composite level and uh, associated to network profiler they will be push to that individual device or, or to the site a list of devices belongs to that site all right so let's uh, break it down a little bit create tag and tag individual devices so that's that's the step zero very simple job uh, i'll show you how to do that so create your tag as per your design uh, or network requirement and tag your individual devices then uh, create composite template so for composite template you need couple of things first you need project what is a project? Uh, project is log logical grouping of set of templates. So it's like a uh, organization structure. So you, once you want to create a hierarchy, you have root as organization or org as organization. So that is a project. Under project, you define your regular template and then um, you create composite sequence template and call this regular template or make this regular template part of that composite sequence. There are certain caveats with uh, composite uh, template, like you can drag and drop templates that have the same device type, software type and software version as that of composite template. When I do the demo, things will be more clear. You can add only the com committed template to the composite template. Obviously, uh, template, you need to commit the template, then only uh, it can take a, a effect. And the template that matches the chosen device type and software version are ma marked as a plus sign. And we will touch base upon this uh, in our demo. Okay, so here basically you created your tag, then you created your composite template. Now, so composite template, tag, done. Now let's move on to network profiler. Assign, uh, associate template to network profile. So you create your network profile and associate this composite template to network profile and then you assign this network profile to the site step four here uh, and then finally provision the device so you are going to provision the device i'll let you read um, 
So assign network profile to the device provision network device during provisioning when the devices are assigning to specific site template associated with the site through the network profile appear in advanced configuration. So all the configuration which was part of composite template they will show up on device. All right. Uh, enough uh, discuss here. So let's go to um, DNAC and watch it in action. All right. So since we are uh, going, to, this is my DNAC, and I have op kept a couple of tabs open because uh, we are going to work uh, with the multiple component. So let's get started first. Uh, what I want to you do is uh, go to your inventory, and you can see step zero create tag so you can see tag device manage tag or create new tag you can say create new tag give tag a name and you can do some selection rule but these are optional the bare minimum what you have to do you have to give the tag a name right so we are going to say np tag let's create a tag here and then I'm going to tag one of my device and uh, this this one probably since it's not tagged come here and say NP NP tag and apply so we created a tag we tag the device the next thing what you want to do is go to template editor and create your regular templates plus uh, composite sequence all right so what do you need you need a project so this is a project update project I'm going to reuse one of the project you can create one project very well so you can click on create create project and create project but I'm going to just simply reuse one of the project and under that I have one regular template created so you can see I have a regular template created and it has a tag cat 9k let's call in the newly created tag np tag and you need device type and software type so device type let's select switches you can see all my switches are selected okay let's select all of them and then i am going to say routers and i'm going to select only one uh, cisco 1100 series isr okay i'm going to say um, Cisco 4000 series because that's that's I have so under router I'm selecting only ISR 4k family all right so two type of devices selected oh I didn't do the save my bad so let's go and look in the property again and I have to reapply the tag reapply the tag two type of devices selected uh, switches all of the switches routers only 4k and go back let's look at this one more time so you can see if all of them are selected you will see the tick mark and if subset of it selected you will see something like this and i'll tell you why this is important okay so back uh, don't uh, hit close uh, otherwise you have to do it uh, again so back to template and now I, we have template type we have tags, we have device type selected and software type. Software version is not needed because it's always changing. Uh, say update. So this is one of uh, the regular template. We want one more regular template. So let's go to the project, say add template. This is going to be my regular template, uh, NP, it's an MP. Uh, and this is my project name is already taken. You can see, and we will tag it with np np tag and now you can see i have device type switch all switches and then i'm going to say router same thing uh, and we will select 4k routers back to template software version is ios xe all right so we have two regular template and as you can see there is nothing in this template all right so let me put something in this template um, so that we can validate all right 
Let me put something in this template. So I'm going to push to additional community on the device. These communities are not present there. So first you can do save, but you have to commit your template. So this template is not committed. Let's commit it. Quick commit. Cannot think of better comment. So this is committed and uh, you can see that this one is also committed. So we have regular template. Now let's create a composite template. Add template. Now we are going to say composite template. This is NP template. We have the project. And I'm going to say this is NP tag. Same thing. And we want to uh, use the same iOS version and device type. So I'm going to select switches. Not Meraki switch, but all the switch in hub back to template um, edit router router and i'm going to select all the routers back to template add okay so now we have a composite template and composite template looks like this like a regular template has no mm, this folder icon uh, but composite template has this icon okay now you can see we are in composite template and it says that drag and drop template from the left panel. And I actually want to drag and drop uh, those. So change app from applicable to all so that you can view all the template. But you can see that I cannot move or drag cat 9k template or NP template. And these are regular template. So so why, why not? We just created this, right? So why we are not able to drag and drop? And if you remember, Going back to this, you can see that um, the template that match matches the chosen device type and software version, they are marked by a plus icon. And that means those are the template which are ready for drag and drop, but we don't see a plus icon here. So I did it intentionally because this is very frustrating um, um, the caveat here. So you can see edit device type, I have selected all the routers and switches, but in my regular template I have all the switches but in router I have selected only 4k uh, so let me go ahead and select 4k back to template update it and now you can see since uh, device type is matching between composite and regular template I can see the plus sign so let me uh, do a drag and drop and you can see uh, they are committed in the sequence so whatever you put first they go that command will go first. So I want to put cat 9k template, which is my MOTD and then SNMP. Okay. You can save and commit. Quick commit. So our step zero and step one is completed here. Um, now we have to go to network profiler. So network profiler, you go to design, come to design network profile and here you can see you can create the profile all right so i'm going to add a profile uh, this is a going to be a switching profile because i'm going to apply on a switch and let's say np tag uh, because i am not very feeling very innovative today uh, onboarding template for day zero but uh, we are not doing any pnp um, so let's pick day end template so this is going to be a switching template before I start adding the template, let me just save the profile. So I'm going to save it and then we'll come back and edit it. So now let's go to day and template, add, you can see switches, cat, so 93, or maybe if I can scroll, that's uh, not an easy way to find cat. Uh, list 93 okay and device type device tag sorry np tag what we created and template is our composite template that's np template and we'll just say save again and now let's look at this one more time np tag so you can see we have the template we have the device tag and so this is the step three 
uh, basically step two because we started with zero. So now let's go back uh, and assign it to the site. Okay, so let's assign it to site and I'm going to assign it to one particular site which is my RTP5, but let me verify again. So I'm gonna go to provision, look at the inventory and uh, switches this is the device we want to push the configuration and because we have the tag applied here and this is part of rtp5 yes this site okay so good let's go ahead and apply it to rtp5 save only one profile of the type can be associated with a profile and profile is already associated with the profile type so uh, i did it intentionally that you can do uh, uh, you can only uh, associate one profile which makes sense, right? So now you can see NP tag is associated with one site. And what is that site? And that's RTP5, all right? So device is assigned and now let's go back. And finally, uh, we are ready to provision, right? So before we start the provisioning, let me log into the device and do a term monitor so that we can see what configuration is getting, getting pushed. This is my out of band network and all right, show run I SNMP server com. You can see I have some funny community, Tom and Jerry, and we are going to push uh, SDN Tech Forum as a community. Um, let, me, let me put terminal monitor and let's go ahead and provision the device action provision provision device we don't want to change anything but in advanced configuration you just select the device and you can click uh, template if it deployed before and say next so scroll down and you want to see what template is applied so you can see template name is np template is getting up, uh, applied deploy i want to deploy now so the provisioning started. We, will, we should see the provisioning log here. And once we get the provisioning log from UI, we will go to network device and monitor it from there. Okay, let me filter with RTP5. So we only want to see this and Let's go back to the device. Okay, so you can see uh, at very we are at the right point of time. So MOTD is pushed and SNMP community configuration is pushed. But let me rerun the command. So you now you can see I have uh, two additional community which has been pushed via the template and using network profiler. So I hope you like the video and uh, you uh, feel comfortable how to use Network Profiler and um, other things. If you want to look at the provisioning result, you can come here and uh, uh, you can see all the provisioning job status. So our provisioning is just succeeded RTP5 uh, success and we can see in details. All right. So I hope uh, you like the video and you are feeling confident uh, using your DNEC um, day to day and um, make use of it uh, at the full extent. So thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you for watching.